Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I've got a wild case here, unlike anything I've ever heard of before. District Attorney sues County Sheriff's Office over mishandling of evidence. The District Attorney is suing the Sheriff. This is happening in Colorado. KRDO.com reports the story. Dan Beatty wrote it. Sasha sent it to me. Thanks a lot. The third Judicial District Attorney is bringing a lawsuit against one of his own law enforcement agencies, alleging a mishandling of evidence that's resulted in numerous felony cases being dismissed. Here's what happens. Law enforcement arrests somebody, processes them, then turns them over to the district attorney for prosecution. During the prosecution, the defendant is entitled to see what evidence the state's got against them. There are timelines within which the evidence must be produced or basically shown to the defendant so they can prepare their case. And if they miss those deadlines, cases get dismissed. And so the district attorney is saying, look, you keep bringing people to me for prosecution. You got to keep sending the evidence over timely. Otherwise, I can't prosecute them. 13 investigates learned third judicial district attorney Henry Solano is suing the Huerfano County Sheriff Bruce Newman and his department. According to the lawsuit, Solano says the sheriff's office is failing to provide his office evidence in a timely manner, meaning the public safety is being put at risk. They can't be protected if I don't have the evidence to prosecute a case said District Attorney Henry Solano in an interview with 13. Critical information in the possession of the state must be provided to the defendant within 21 days from the defendant's first appearance on a criminal complaint that's been filed. They got 21 days to turn the evidence over. This is according to Rule 16 in the Criminal Rules and Procedures of Colorado, the CRPC. According to the lawsuit filed on Tuesday, the sheriff's office has not met that deadline in a large number of cases. Meanwhile, The lawsuit says other agencies within Judicial District 3, such as the Los Animas County Sheriff's Office, the Trinidad Police Department, and Colorado State Patrol, have all provided evidence well before 21 days, often within 24 to 48 hours. So if someone gets arrested, the police should have the evidence upon which this person was arrested. So when the DA asks for it, it shouldn't take them more than three weeks to get it over there. On top of the untimely handover of evidence, The suit alleges that the HCSO fails to properly maintain or preserve evidence or hand over evidence to be tested by the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. That's often one of the problems is the time it takes to move this stuff around. So, for instance, in many states, the state police have a crime lab. And a lot of police departments don't actually have the technology to do the really high-level testing of stuff you see on TV. So what happens is someone at the police department We'll send it to the crime lab, and then it's got to come back with the results. And of course, it's all going to be done properly. I'm just I'm shorthanding this for you. And so that takes time as well. So if the evidence is being tested someplace over here, but it's also got to be over here, you may have to plan ahead on some of this stuff to figure out when you need to start working on it. Um, according to the lawsuit, 27 felony cases have been dismissed since Solano took office in 2017 because the county sheriff's office failed to hand over evidence. So there were 27 felonies that could have been prosecuted, 27 felony cases that could have been prosecuted that were simply dismissed because they had to go into court and say, Your Honor, they're entitled to the evidence. We haven't got it yet. Sorry. Dismiss the charges. Charges dismissed. Um, Solano said, It is very disturbing and troubling that not only suspected felons, but repeat felons are not being held accountable. Not because we can't prove the case, but because elementary law enforcement obligations, entry-level requirements are not being met. Solano is calling on the court to order the county sheriff's office to adhere to state law and provide evidence in a timely manner. Uh, If they don't comply, I can go back to the court and ask the sheriff and the sheriff's department to be held in contempt, Solano said. The court has a number of different mechanisms in which to enforce its order. One of those mechanisms could include potential sanctions being placed against the sheriff's department. The county sheriff told 13 investigates on Monday he's happy that Solano filed the lawsuit (laughs) because now everything can come to light in a public setting. He said he won't answer any other questions at this time due to pending litigation. The county commissioners who fund the sheriff's office and the district attorney's office declined to comment. County commissioners would not speak due to a separate ongoing lawsuit between the county and the district attorney's office. So everyone's suing everyone. Uh, Solano said, I don't need to worry about whether they like me. The sheriff's office likes me or doesn't like me or whatever. I do my job. 
I'll hold others responsible to do their job. If they don't like it, that's their problem. And this is a crazy story. Like I said, I've never heard of this before. Uh, I've heard of cases being dismissed because of non-disclosure or non-timely disclosure. I've heard of that. That happens. But it usually happens in rare situations where something gets lost uh, or somebody screws up with paperwork somewhere down the line. But one of the interesting issues here is that in most places, sheriffs are elected. And so the answer to many of these questions is simply don't elect somebody if they can't do the job properly. Now, I'm not saying the sheriff's not doing his job properly. I don't know. The lawsuit will reveal much, I assume. The sheriff says he's got a side to his story that he'd like to tell. Great, he can tell his story when he gets a chance. But it does appear, assuming that the facts alleged here are correct, that 27 felony-level cases were simply dismissed because... The attorney walked into court and said, Your Honor, I'm required to give defendant all this information within 21 days. 21 days has passed. I still don't have it. Nothing I can do about it. Dismiss the case. Judge looks over and basically says to the defense attorney, It's your lucky day. Case dismissed. Boom. And you're out of here. So that is unusual. Now, it happens from time to time. I've seen it happen before. We've lost the evidence, Your Honor, whatever. This one witness won't testify or something. You know. But the idea that it's happened 27 times in what appears to be about a little over three years, that is probably a high enough number. It makes you wonder what's going on. So I'm not quite sure, and I hate to speculate because I've had people say, well, you know, Steve, what do you think could be going on here? If you had to guess, what do you think is going on here? I don't know. This is one I don't, I don't know because there's other entities, other law enforcement agencies in that county that appear to have no problem with these deadlines. No problem at all. In fact, it says here that that some of these people get their stuff turned over within 48 hours. And if you think about it, you'd think it should be easier than they're making it out to be. Because if you arrest somebody, okay, you arrest somebody, somebody writes up a report of the arrest, and that gets turned over to the district attorney's office, And they look at the report, and they decide whether or not to charge the person. And the report will have a narrative filled out by the arresting officer or somebody knowledgeable of the case who will say, we arrested this person. Here's the circumstances of the arrest. Here's the evidence we have. So all of that's on a report that gets turned over very, very early on. So when the AG brings charges, or the district attorney brings charges, the DA brings charges, and they, and they bring somebody into court, and they arraign them. They say, you have been charged with the following. How do you plead? That starts the clock ticking 21 days. It's a calendar ticking. It starts the calendar pages flipping in slow motion like on TV <laughs> or in a movie. 21 days. But remember that in the file is that police report. It has right on it. Person was arrested for this, 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 and this. This, this witness filled out a witness statement. This f- witness filled out a witness statement. We got uh, photographs of the crime scene. We, all of this stuff. And it's all, the inventory's on that piece of paper, or pieces of paper. It's there. So all the police have got to do is look at that document and go, okay, get him this stuff so that he can proceed to the prosecution. And by the way, DA's going to need it also, right? So it, it, it's, it's, it's a strange case. It's a very, very strange case. And I'm also not sure uh, about the idea of different divisions of the government suing each other. Uh, it's, it's, it's doable. It's doable. It's a question of, of how effective it's going to be. Uh, as the DA says, you know, if, if the judge orders them to turn the stuff over to me and they fail, they can be held in contempt of court. Uh, the question, of course, is does that really solve the problem if there is some other inherent underlying problem that makes it where they can't turn stuff over in 21 days. Um, the real solution might be after the sheriff has told his side of the story for the voters of this county to decide whether or not they want this sheriff running their county uh, law enforcement because, you know, did the previous sheriff have this problem? Would another sheriff in the future have the problem? Maybe not. So quite often the answer is the ballot you know, how you vote. But as of right now, it's in court, and we'll see what happens. But from krdo.com, Dan B. 
Beatty wrote it. Sasha sent it to me. District Attorney sues County Sheriff's Office over mishandling of evidence. And so far, 27 felony level cases have been dismissed due to the stuff not being turned over when it should be. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Life's too mysterious to take too serious.